full time Arsenal three, Chelsea one. Three points in the Premier League for the first time since what September. We needed that tonight. We needed we've been needing that for weeks, months even. But for, but it's the youngsters tonight who I'm most proud of. The likes of the Smith Rose, the Sackers, the Martinelli worked their bollocks off from start to finish. Even when Willock came on, he was all right. He was a weird one, really. Starting eleven, Gabriel apparently now has COVID out for three games, and um, yeah, he's out for three games. David Luiz and William, they were not feeling up for it, which probably was a positive for us. And um, obviously Partey out, Bamian was on the bench, didn't even need to come on. We started the game, then I was in goal, back three of Mary, Holden and uh, Tierney. No, sorry, no, it wasn't a back four of Tierney, Mary, Holding and Bellerin. Uh, midfield of Elneny, Shaka and Smith-Rowe. Front three of Saka, Lacazette and Martinelli. And Martinelli, Saka and Smith-Rowe. Smith-Rowe especially, it was immensely impressed with him today. Immensely impressed with all of them. We pressed from the word go. And we got a goal, bit of luck really. Tierney brought down by Reese James, done him, and then Reese James brings down Tierney. But I don't actually, I think it was a soft one. VAR looked at it, gave the penalty anyway. And you know what? When we're down where we are, we need a bit of luck. And we got a bit of luck today that we've been missing for weeks with the David Louise cross bar against Everton last week. We need a bit of luck, and we got that tonight with the penalty. Lacazette stepped up against Mendy, converted it, made it 1 0. And then the second goal, well, <laughs> got a free kick outside the box just before half time. Granite Shaka wallops it in, top right corner. A fantastic finish by Granite Shaka of all play of all players to do it. Of course, a lot of players, people, including myself, didn't want to see him come back in the team today. But he was back in the team. He scored the goal. And we got the 2-0 lead. And even then I'm still thinking half time. Chelsea could still come back. We still continued to press how we did. And um, I don't know what Lampard and Chelsea were doing today. I, I, if Lampard for Chelsea, if I was a Chelsea fan, I'd be absolutely fuming. Because even I was I was shocked in a good way that Giroud didn't come on the pitch. Because if he was on the pitch, I think he would have caused us a lot more problems than Abraham. Even though Abraham did score right at the end. but Or even having both up front. I think if you're a Chelsea fan, you'd be immensely frustrated with Lampard's tactics today. He brought on Jorginho and uh, Hudson Odoi um, at half time, try to switch it up, but we still continued our relents pressure. And a really weird shot by Bakayo Saka, who again won, who was the man of the match today, um, completely contricted everybody. I thought it was a cross, but to be honest, when I'm thinking about it, he's probably saw Mendy off his line and took the shot on. And it's a fantastic finish. Whether it was a cross or a shot, who cares? It's 3 0. Arsenal are in dreamland, and after not scoring three goals in God knows how long, we've now scored three goals against Chelsea in the first hour. Um, they got a they got a, a a goal from Tammy Abraham with about five minutes to go. They then got a penalty in injury time, which if that was scored, they still would have had another four minutes to go to try and grab an equaliser. Leno saved the penalty, and we managed to hold on to a massive win. But I think realistically now. The key for Arsenal is to kick on from this. We've had a great performance, but we always seem to step it up against the Uniteds, the Chelsea's. But it's the teams like West Brom who we've got coming up, Brighton who we've got coming up, where I'm going to stay level-headed. I'm, I'm gassed. I'm, I'm very gassed. But it's like, it is three points, three huge points for us. And we are down there right now. And we need all the points we can get. But we're facing West Brom, who I hate to say it, are down there with us realistically. And if they win, they could. we're looking over our shoulder again. And then we've got Brighton as well. We've got some big, big games coming up. But when you look at our fixture list, I know we're, we're, we're where we are for a reason. We deserve to be where we are. But on paper, we should be beating these teams. And after a big result like that, it should kick us on, stay level-headed, and go through each and every game, treat every single game like we did tonight, and we'll be absolutely fine and we'll rock it back up the league. But if we keep taking other teams for granted... We're going to end up being exposed. There was a lot of good discipline out there today, even though Mary arguably probably could have got a second yellow for the penalty he gave away um, for the Chelsea penalty right at the end. But referee didn't give it as a, as a red card. So, yeah, a bit of luck really from the referee today, but worked their socks off. We deserved the three points today. And if you're a Chelsea fan, you'll be fuming. If you're an Arsenal fan, you're loving it. Um, once again, we still haven't lost on Boxing Day since like the 30s or the 40s. I saw that stat today. Um, but three huge points in the London derby 
back up to 14th. It's laughable when you think about it, but we just needed points, just needed three points, and hopefully this win can really kickstart our season. And you know what? It wouldn't surprise me if we go and play West Brom next and lose to West Brom, because that's just the way we are. We need to get back to back wins. We need to keep pushing and kick on from this. This isn't the end of for us kind of thing. We need to really, really push and keep fighting tooth and nail every single game. Because that's what we did tonight. And if we do that in other games going forward, not playing these experienced players like William that do nothing for the club. Smith Rowe fighting for the badge. Saka fighting for the badge. Martinelli fighting for the badge. Like I said, putting a shift in today. Abam you're looking at Bam Young on the bench, you're thinking he's, he's not a guaranteed starter against West Brom because of how well we've played with the 11 that were on the pitch. So... You've got to put faith in these youngsters. He put faith in them finally, and it's paid off for Mikel Arteta. So that means you've got to renew that faith and keep playing these youngsters like Smith Rowe, who was probably one of our best players tonight. I love Smith Rowe tonight. Looked up, had shown a bit more creativity in the midfield. It was absolutely class. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below of the game. Subscribe. If you're new, I'll be back for the West Brom game. But I'm just so happy with three... Huge points for the Arsenal. Come on. See you guys in the next one.